project somewhere in that ballpark of an investment. They tore down a, an older building here that was not well received by some people. It was an older vacant building that had a lot of maintenance issues to it. But so there's a little controversy in that regard. But um, that's what this what you see the construction right here. Um, for downtown, if you, you, you know, may have noticed, or as we drive back around, you'll see these curb bump outs with the landscaping. The city did those. They were those bump outs were constructed. Um, two years ago in 2016 in um, the city the city and the county partnered together and applied for a tap grant um, which we got funded and so the 20% match was split by the city and so how we how we like to tell that or the mayor likes to tell it to the public for every dollar we spent the city spent we got nine dollars from other people's money to pay for that um, and the county paid a dollar and they got nine dollars <coughs> dollar they paid so um, the, um, that's the, the curb bump outs is the first phase of streetscape improvements for downtown Marshfield. As we drive around, you'll see some, there's a few places, if you look really close, you'll see kind of the curb. It looks like the curb was put in wrong. Um, the re, that was, it's not wrong, it's actually the street is wrong. The, eventually, the future phase is to literally tear out the street and rebuild the street, and then uh, I don't know how many layers of asphalt are on that street, but it will lower the street the second, the next phase also is to replace all the sidewalks, underground, the overhead utility lines, put in vintage lighting, kind of stuff you see in other downtowns a lot of times. So it's a, it's a work in progress. As city administrator, I'm not looking forward to, if we get that tap land, I'm not looking forward to that construction because this downtown business owners and property owners hated the construction of those curb bump outs when we tear out all the sidewalks in the street. <laughs> They're really not going to be happy, so um, that's a hurdle we have to figure out how to phase that in. Um, but that's that's kind of the plan for down beautification wise for downtown. Um, business wise, um, I'm going to turn it over to Chan here in a moment. But um, one of the things that we don't do as a, as a community, and it's and it, right now I don't even think it's really on our radar as Grove Marshfield, but it needs to be is. We do not market our downtown, and it's similar to, um, I apologize, Salem, Sarcoxy. Sarcoxy. Sarcoxy, I'm yeah. sorry. Sarcoxy's downtown where, mm -hmm. I mean, the four-way stop where we stop, that's a block off. That's kind of the main drag. The interstate is still a mile that way. Um, so the downtown is has to be a destination. We have the advantage of being a county seat, so we have a courthouse. Daytime, as you can see, parking's at a premium. It looks like we got a great downtown. You drive down if we took the same drive at 5 p.m. or 5 15 you can park anywhere and um, there's a restaurant on the opposite corner from where we are they draw in at night to some degree um, what we don't do and we just market our downtown as a people in marshfield in the marshfield area know about the downtown and know what's down there we actually have six um, businesses or um, let me rephrase that six um, Drawing a blank on the right type of word, um, home interior, knickknack, vintage, antique type stores, um, clothing stores to a kids store to just a women's clothing store. What's that? Boutiques. Thank you. Um, little stores on the square. Well, five right now. A sixth one is about to open in a week. We do not market that outside of Marshfield, and my wife, my wife likes to do that, so I get to go along with her. And we go to other towns. We've been to downtown Crane. We've been to downtown Buffalo and we've been to other little downtowns Willard and yeah. other places um, you know, on weekends we'll do that's kind of our one of our hobbies so to speak and 417 magazine did an article about six months ago on the little downtowns we fought that that was marketing we because of that article we took on a we took a day off and we went to those downtowns just because of that and because we like to do it um, what Marshfield and when I was actually talking to one of the business owners last weekend about it is we've got to market out to Springfield region on a regional basis because we have six businesses on our square we have another three that are within three blocks of our square that are the same type from my experience nine businesses that would draw people to downtown on a Saturday and that's free money that's money that doesn't otherwise get spent if they whether they're buying something in those stores or they stop to get buy a drink or get food or whatever that's free money and so We've, we've got to do a better job of marketing our downtown. 
Um, John, do you have a downtown association or a merchants association? We do not. Um, interesting you ask that is we're, we're updating our comprehensive plan right now. Um, what we're calling our growth plan because planning has kind of a negative to some people in the community is not a positive term. So we call it a growth plan because Marshfield's growing and we have an interchange and there's momentum. Grow Marshfield is people support, so we're kind of playing off with semantics. But that growth plan has an element for our downtown and that's one of the things to come out has been identified. It's not, it'll be done by the end of this year, but <coughs> our hope from a city standpoint, my standpoint is I'm hoping that will be a presentation <coughs> step. Um, we've, we've talked with the Missouri uh, Main Street Connection, um, we've gone to their um, their first their class. You have to go to uh, get a grant from Drawn Blank on the first um, phase of that, but um, but we have to have a grassroots.